Hey guys, go some for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, I'll be going down Nugget Bridge and challenging all the trainers. Now, before I actually do this, I'd like to switch my Robin out to the front of my team, just because our first battle we're going to encounter right here is a Bug Catcher. And this Bug Catcher has four Pokemon on his team. He has a level 10 Caterpie, level 10 Weedle, a level 10 Metapod, and a level 10 Kakuna. Now, if you don't have a Flying type, don't worry about it. Stab moves, like, I don't know, using your... Bulbasaur, for example, that I have, um, using Vine Whip on it, you shouldn't have too much trouble with these. It should just like take my own two shots or something. But I'm gonna go for a Fury Attack right here because there's no point of wasting some PP on the pack, even though we have like 35 or something. These bugs aren't really that strong, and our Pharaoh has pretty decent attack. So you know what? I think I'm just gonna go for one more Fury Attack. I'm not gonna use it on the. Metapod or the Kakuna because I don't think it'll two shot them like I am with these Caterpies and Weedles. But yeah, um, I am keeping on my Robin for most of this bridge though, just because I want to get him up to a high enough level to where he's equal with my Light Bulb, my Ivysaur, just because I don't want to have them too spread out in levels. I don't want to have my Ivysaur at like level 30 or something and then my Robin at level 20 like he is right now. So. We're going to take out another Pokemon right here. This is his last Pokemon. It's Kakuna. Again, you shouldn't have too much trouble. Even if you chose Squirtle or something, Water Gun should be able to take these guys out quite swiftly. So, Robin's not going to go up a level, but we did defeat the Bug Catcher. And I'm going to keep Robin out. Again, like I said earlier, just going to keep him out for most of this bridge. Now, this last right here, she has a level 12 Pidgey at the beginning of this battle. Um, really, Pidgey... Not really the strongest Pokemon in the world, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, I don't really recommend bringing out your grass types against this thing, because you might have some trouble here and there, but... Yeah, Pidgey's going to go down one shot from this peck. And her last two Pokemon on her team is a level 12 Oddish and a level 12 Bellsprout, so... Peck should be able to one-shot these two Pokemon right here. This is what I love about having Pharaoh. Pharaoh is such a... F it's a decently fast Pokemon. It also has really good attack. So, at the start of the game, mostly, this is when this Pokemon's gonna shine. Um, if you're able to get to a Fero. Even Spear is pretty good, but uh, Fero is just much better because it is his second evolution. I really hope they actually do give Fero a third evolution sooner or later. Like later on in the series, maybe Gen 7 or something. Just because this Pokemon definitely could use a third um, evolution. Not like it needs it 100%, but it would be nice to make it even stronger. Now, we're going to fight this youngster right here, Youngster Timmy, and Youngster Timmy actually has two Pokemon on his team. He has a Sandshrew, which is level 14, and an Ekans, which is level 14. Um, now, the Sandshrew is going to be using Defense Curl, so I kind of want to use Pursuit at the start. Just I want to see how much damage it actually does. So it did amount, the same amount as Peck, pretty much. I don't think it really mattered. He wasn't going to die in two shots, though, because he did go for a Defense Curl right here, which is... Uh, fine, I guess. We're not going to take him out in two shots, but it's not like it really matters. So the Sentry's going to go down right here pretty easy. Robin should be able to go up to level, I don't know, around 23 or so by the end of this whole bridge. Now, Ekans, he is going to go for Intimidate. You do have to watch out for that, but I'm not too worried. I kind of want to go... We're going to go for a Leer first because uh, since I am Intimidated, my attack is going to go down by one. And if I use Leer, his attack's going or his defense is going to go down by one. Now, you also have to watch out for Poison Sting. I think this is the first time in the whole series I've actually gone poisoned by that, because usually when I go up to, against Poison Pokemon, I usually bring out my Ivysaur to make sure I don't get poisoned by Poison Sting. So, Youngster Timmy's going to go down either way, and I'm actually going to heal up this poison on my Robin real quick if I do have an antidote, which I do have too. Nice. Um... Because if you do walk around with poison on you, your Pokemon will still be taking damage, which I don't really want. I'd like my Robin to be uh, the highest amount of health he could be without actually going back to the Pokemon Center or using my potions. Because my potions can come in handy later on. don't want to use them all up at once. And yeah, so we're going to battle this last right here. She has a level 16 Nidoran, female and male. Now, these Pokemon are a little harder than the other Pokemon. They should be be like pretty frail so you shouldn't have too much trouble with them um they do go down two shots if you have a high enough level pokemon and luckily for me he actually went for a focus energy now 
if you don't or are, are not able to take out this Pokemon more than two turns, make sure you watch out for Focus Energy because it does raise the chance that they can get critical hits. So if you don't want to deal with losing some of your Pokemon to RNG or something, make sure you take them out in a few shots. And this Nidoran female is so annoying right now. Poisoning us and bringing down our attack? Come on. And it didn't even... Okay. <laughs> I see you. It's gonna go for a double kick though, so... It shouldn't do the, too much damage. Uh, we are a flying type. And like I said before, again, these guys are gonna be a little bit tougher to take out than the Caterpies and Pidgeys you were taking out earlier. Um, but we did go through them easily. Or easy enough, I guess. I do have to heal on my Robin once again. I think I actually might use a potion on him now. I don't want to go back to the Pokemon Center just yet. Uh, gonna heal this poison up. And I keep forgetting that you can just like skip through that whole uh, healing thing if you just mash A. If you guys don't want to actually go through that healing animation, just make sure to mash A right after you give the potion to your Pokemon. Now, this is going to be the last trainer on Nugget Bridge. His name is Camper Ethan, and he has a Mankey, which is level 18. Now, like I said before, um, if you have a flying type, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this whole bridge. We are going to be able to take out one shot, but if you don't, Make sure you bring out a strong Pokemon, because Mankey uh, is a strong fighting type, and it evolves into Primeape, but its first evolution is still pretty good and pretty scary if you don't have anything to deal with it. So Camber Ethan's going to go down, and we've got a another trainer. I don't want to, like, kind of <laughs> uh, surprise you guys, or say the surprise, but he's going to give you a nugget for actually beating everyone on Nugget Bridge, and this is actually secretly... If it wants to turn into one, a uh, Team Rocket Grunt. Now, this Team Rocket Grunt's running in Ekans and Zubac like all the other Rocket Grunts you come up against. So yeah, shouldn't have too much trouble with this guy. Um, hopefully, oh, he has Intimidate. I think every Ekans in this whole game has Intimidate, but nevertheless, I'm just going to keep going through for these pecs because we are high level and uh, it doesn't really matter if... We are intimidated or not, because we're still going to be doing a lot of damage, just because we are higher level than them, and fear is, fear is pretty good in his attack stat. Now, the Ekans going to go down pretty easily. Um, he's going to bring out Zubat now. Again, I don't really want to use my Ivysaur, just because I want to get... I actually think... What's my Ivysaur right now? My Ivysaur is level 24, so two levels off. That's not too bad. I think I might get him up to level 23 and then switch out. So, Zubat's not going to go down one shot, because we did get intimidated early. going to go for a Leech Life. Not going to do too much damage if we do resist it because we are flying type. And this peck should take out the Zubat, which it does nice. And we took down the Rocket Grunt. Now, that Rocket Grunt, if you don't have a flying type or a strong Pokemon, um, you shouldn't have too much trouble still just because um, Ekans and Zubat aren't the strongest mons in the world. But anyways, that's pretty much it for Nugget Bridge, guys. I'm going to end off the episode here. If you did enjoy, go ahead and... Uh, tell me what you liked in the comment section down below, and also give me some criticism, I'd really appreciate it. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.